everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is Osere May, and if this is your first time ever seeing my channel thank you so much for being here hit on the subscribe button if you've not already subscribed turn on notification bell so that you're the first to know whenever i upload a new video if you've already checked my channel you will know that on this channel i share sewing tutorials pattern drafting and everything relating to sewing so if that is something you're interested in you definitely know what to do hit on the subscribe button and turn on notification bell i'm going to go right into today's video because <laughs> it's not a tutorial um i'm just going to be explaining the making of my wedding dress i actually filmed every single part of the making of this dress when i was making it it actually took me about um two months it's not like if I took, if I decided to make it once, I wouldn't have been able to do it for like two days. But I kept like doing a little bit, then pausing to do all that things. So it took about almost two months to finish. Um, and I guess in the process of having the videos for so long, I ended up losing more than half of the clips I made. I actually realized that almost all the uh, clips are gone yesterday when I was trying to like gather all the videos together because I wanted to film um the sit down part of it today so you guys are going to have to pardon me on this particular one okay okay when i thought of making my dress myself i knew that first of all i was not going to make a ball dress because i am not a fan of ball dresses maybe maybe it's because i'm small maybe but i've never been a fan of any dress that is going to start from the waist and then open up and then i've found people people to help me carry it up and down that was never my thing so i knew it was going to be something simple at the end of the day so when i saw this particular picture i'm going to put the picture somewhere maybe here or here i knew that okay this is what i want i wanted something like that so um i decided to make it for myself i had to go online actually to like i was here on youtube to try and see like materials that people use for wedding dresses because i had never made one before now okay so i, I checked for the materials and um i went to the market and the materials i got that i used to make this dress in particular i'm just going to list them now the first one i did was i got a lace i got a bridal lace not just any lace and this particular lace i got it for seventeen thousand naira per yard so i actually got two yards of it because i just wanted a straight um gown i wanted a straight gown with the lace and then the tail was going to be a different fabric so for the lace itself i got just two yards and you know that if you intend to use the lace for probably the tail you will need to spend a lot of money so i used duchess for the tail part and i think i got about 20 yards for just the tail because i used it as lining as well so i used it for the front and the inside so that was about 20 to 22 yards i'm not very sure now of um dolf not doll face <laughs> not doll face of duchess is it Duchess now? Yes, it's Duchess. So yeah, that was about 20 yards of Duchess for the tail, two yards for the body of the dress. And then what else did I get? Um, I got Heste. Heste was about one yard. That one is not hard. And then I actually initially got um, skin net, but I later realized that I didn't need it. When I started making the dress, actually, you guys will see it here, that the upper part, I actually used a skin net my mind was okay i would do the body just exactly as this dress is but my plan was that i would beat the neckline but um when my sister saw it when my friends saw it when everybody saw it they were like no that net is not doing anything there so at first i was trying to convince, convince myself that it was going to be nice but later i realized that mm -mm, mm -mm. it was even out of, out of place and it was not my exact skin color so i just had to remove it so i had i removed it and then added a lace to the upper part and then stoned the lace instead um, i'm sure you guys must have seen that so what i did when i was making the body of the dress was um because the lace i got guys the stones in this lace there was no way i would have been able to sew it on my sewing machine you guys know that i use a very small tabletop machine and it's not very strong to be stitching on those kind of heavy stones so what i did was that i made the whole dress um plain so i used the duchess fabric to make the full dress just plain like that you can see uh, my brother here helping me to now put the lace so i made the duchess plain and then we now had to hand stitch the lace on top of the duchess i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to explain uh, i see this happening a lot on instagram these days 
Trust me, I've never done it before. This was the first time I did it and it, just, it actually came out nice. I know that definitely the next one I'll do will look better. But yeah, it came out nice. Thankfully, my brother was around then and he helped me to pin everything down. And then after that, I had to use needle and try to literally stitch everything. So I had to stitch the lace down on the fabric with needle and thread. So um, after I was done with that, I, like I said, I decided to remove the brown part, added the sleeves, um, for the sleeve, I decided not to like, not to have like um, it aligned because it actually just had that bead um, design and it was really nice. So yeah, with that, the dress is finished and that's all for the body of the dress. For the tail, it was also my first time making a tail and I wanted it to be detachable because I didn't want a situation whereby I would have to make a second dress for the reception i don't know if you guys understand so i wanted to use one dress so um just like the picture that i'm trying to follow so i tried to create a tail that will look like this at first i added like a second layer to give it that triple layer thing but i didn't like how it was looking at the back so i just removed it and just made it one layer so the cutting of the tail probably i'll do a tutorial on that I had to watch this there was this um guy i don't know which country he's from when i was watching that video on youtube he doesn't speak english so uh looking at that video he actually makes dresses for dolls so he makes wedding dresses and dresses like that for doll babies so the i just understood how to go about it from there and i had to replicate it on the ground because you just need a free room to be able to do that so i i had to do it on the ground you guys can see me cutting it on the ground and after that uh, oh, sorry, when I was listing the materials that I used for the making of this dress, I forgot to mention that I used a hard net. That's why the tail is not looking so flat. I had hard net inside of it. So I had a layer of um, the Duchess fabric as lining, the layer of um, hard net in between, and then another Duchess fabric. So it was like three fabrics making one to give me that tail. That's why it was not looking so um soft i've seen a couple of people with a wedding dress and tail and then the tail is looking so slim i wanted mine to be full so i had a layer of um hard net in between so i had to cut the hard net just the same way i cut out the tail itself so that means for the hard net you need about 10 yards as well <laughs> so you need a lot of fabric i just remembered now another thing i added when i was um sewing the tail part was a was crinoline so i stitched crinoline around all the whole flare you know the tail is actually cut as a flare it's just that one part is very long so that it flows and follow at the back but it's actually cut out as a flare probably if you guys would want let me know in the comment section i might make a video using paper to demonstrate uh, how to take measurements for the cutting out of a detachable tail just let me know if you like to see that in the description in the comment section so yeah i had to stitch crinoline all the way around and while i was stitching the crinoline i added um hemming gum so that when i was not ironing everything it stayed perfectly so that was all that was basically all i used for the making of this dress those are all the materials now and i made the upper part a bustier because guys trust me if there's anything i wanted um on my wedding day it was just to be very very comfortable so i made it a bustier although on the waist area i snatched my waist so i used loops at the back but i made it a bustier so that it would not be like stressful for me so yeah i guess that's it for everything at the end of the day uh, for the uh, for the veil i wanted a cathedral veil and um i would have been able to make one but I didn't get a nice lace that would go all the way around so i decided to order one from aliexpress the one i ordered was about three meters long i thought it was going to be very long like i measured three meters by myself it looked like it was going to be long but then i forgot to realize that it's going to start from my head <laughs> and when they brought it i saw it from beginning that it was going to be this type that doesn't cover the face when I told my mom, my mom was like, there is no way you are wearing a veil that is not going to cover your face. So I had to by myself DIY and turn the normal cathedral veil that is supposed to just stand like this to cover my face. So by the time I brought some inches down here again, the veil just became short. So there was no time again to get like a new one. So I had to just go with it like that. At the end of the day, um, I saw this video that one of so, someone made. When i was walking into the um church and i saw how long the tail was i'm like ah 
this is long enough so yeah um for the reception all i had to do was to just remove the tail and then i had my simple dress um for you to be able to hook the tail and you to the dress normally um it's just for you to have a skirt hook so you put the hook on the dress in a way that it's not easily showing so the smallest part of the hook you put it on the dress and then you put the other part of the hook on the tail itself so you just basically just hook it together when you want to put it together and then when you're true you just remove it and you have a new dress all together so yeah that's it for the making of this dress um it was really simple and at the end of the day everybody was like wow surprised that i actually made it myself i'm like i don't understand <laughs> But anyways, I got a lot of help from YouTube and yeah, let me know what you think about the dress and how it came out in the comment section. Um, thank you so much for watching. I wanted to have a lot more clips to show you guys because I filmed, you guys know how I can be with things like this. I filmed every single step, but right now I've lost all of them. So anyways, um, I've still managed to put something together for you guys because I know a lot of you guys will be expecting to see this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for all your uh, wishes. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And welcome to 2024. This year is going to be bigger and better. I can feel it already. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much, guys. Of course, we are going to start by next week to start uploading tutorials like we always do. If you have um ideas of the type of tutorial you would like for me to post this year please let me know in the comment section i already have like um ideas because this year i want to make more things that i can actually wear um i started doing that last year because i spent a lot of money you guys you can actually testify that i spent a lot of money on these materials if it's dutchess that was used for a tutorial i'm likely to use dutchess if it's damask I am going to buy the mats, you know, and these materials are easily are not actually very cheap. So I want to be able to actually make these things and actually wear them, wear them myself. So yeah. Anyways, thank you so so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.